Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and welcome to my online class where today we are going to be playing with some brand new products. So the brand new Butterfly Brilliance collection that Stampin' Up! is actually going to be releasing to customers next week. Um, it's available to uh, demonstrators now and also um, the mercury glass. So I had a little had a little teaser up before we got started, taking a little poll with you guys, and uh, it, we're gonna make this a little interactive because uh, you still and you still have chance. You still have a chance to participate here. If you have not picked your favorite color of mercury colored glass, let me know whether you like Rococo Rose or Highland Heather. I have to say, from the uh, five minute warm up uh, polls. It's a tie. It's very close. It's very close. And uh, whichever one wins, well, uh, that's the one that I'll make the uh, projects out of today. So this is what we're going to be making. I'm going to show you how to make this window card using the mercury glass, which really looks like a, an old fashioned mercury glass. It's really fun. And this uh, and this gift box. And I know I, I teased you guys earlier. Um, at, at, I don't know if you saw it yesterday on my Facebook page with uh, all the butterflies. What am I going to make with all these butterflies? So I'll tell you what, what started this. Um, I had created in a, I participated in a card swap and I made this for my card swap. This one's Highland Heather and this one is Rococo Rose. Let's see if I can get that to catch the light for you so you can really see the rose in it. Pretty. Um, and so I cut out all these butterflies and I thought, oh my gosh, well, now we need to have some fun with these butterflies. <laughs> And so I made the box with the double butterfly. You can see the, the mercury glass on the box there. Very fun. So I'm going to show you how to make this, this class. Before we get started, let's talk about uh, Prize Patrol. Because we're live, give a hoot and drop a comment below. If you uh, are picked randomly from my random winners, I will be giving away a Have a Hoot hund bundle. That is, uh, it's the owl set. You know I love owls, so... I, um, it was from the holiday catalog. It is stinking adorable. It covers several different holidays and the owls are just so cute. All you need to do if you're on Facebook or YouTube, whether you're live or the replay, just drop a comment here. And that's it. On March 9th, I will draw a winner and I will be posting it on my blog. You can find winners there under the winner section or um, on Saturdays I announce this week's, that week's winners. So today we're going to be playing with, this is a brand new, beautiful, beautiful collection. In fact, I'm going to just remove myself from here so that you can, at least I think I am, so that you guys can, <laughs> you guys can actually see what's happening there because it is absolutely beautiful. Let's see. There we go. Woo! Okay. Now you can see it. You don't want to look at me anyways. You want to look at pretty butterflies. This is what we're playing with today. Um, designer series paper. I'm going to show you at the end of this, a couple of bonus tutorials that I have for free for you guys. And I'll show the designer paper. Um, in action, the stamp set in action. Um, today we're mostly going to be playing with the dies. So it's really, really fun stuff. Demonstrators can get this now. You can get this now in a demo kit during celebration. Best time. Celebration is ending. Um, and uh, you will be able to purchase it in my online store beginning March 2nd. All right. So let's see. I'm going to just scroll back really quickly while, while I'm showing you guys what we got here uh, through the colors here. If we got any more votes on here, any of you just popping in now, this is it. This is your final chance to, to vote Rococo Rose or Highland Heather. Which one are we going to use today? So far, I think Highland Heather's winning, although it's very, very close. Very close. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, Jamie, double Highland Heather there. Okay. So let me get started with um, creating the... Uh, I'm actually going to kind of create the card. I'm going to do that first, put the card and box together today. So I'll move all these pretty little butterflies out of the way. Oh, and it would help if you actually could see what I'm doing, right? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'll move all these pretty little butterflies out of the way. Okay. So, let's see. I'm going to start, and today I'm actually starting from scratch. So a lot of times... Um, I have this pre-cut for you, but today I'm actually going to start from scratch. I'm going to use this one sheet of basic gray cardstock to cover um, both the card and the box lid. The box base will obviously be the mercury glass. So I wanted this to stand up portraits. I mean, yeah, portrait style. So I'm going to cut it in half um, the long way. A lot of times um, when I'm doing them landscape, I'll cut them in half the short way, but this time it's the long way. So I'm going to slide this into my trimmer at four and a quarter. 
and oh, a lot of Rococo roses jumping in. Oh my gosh, you guys, I, I'm going to need a tiebreaker. <laughs> this is really, they are really neck and neck. A lot of Rococo roses just jumped in here for the votes. Okay. So we've got our card base. I just scored that at five and a half. So we've got our um, portrait tent style uh, card fold there. Now for the top base of the card, and I have all these measurements on my blog, so you do not have to be writing these down. Um, I'm going to cut this five and a quarter by four. In fact, I'll just pop right over there and show you that while I'm cutting these right now, because you don't have to screenshot. You don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to write anything down unless you want to write some notes down in the notes section of my uh, free PDF. But I have a free PDF for you um, on the blog, and there is a link in this video's description. Whether you're watching on Facebook Live or YouTube Live, I'm, I'm in both places simultaneously. So I know some of you don't do Facebook, some of you don't do YouTube. So I can reach you all. I love that. I can reach you all live. So you can click on the link in the video's description. If you don't see it there, just go to stampwithtammy.com. And um, this will be on the resource page, on this projects page. Um, and it's also got a little template there for uh, the box when we get to the box. Okay, so we've got our two panels here. We've got our card base. We've got our top. Um, and I did pre-cut um, the insert here. Um, for the And I use this for the inside. In fact, I'll just go ahead and throw that in there right now. Sometimes I do that ahead of time. Anytime I have dark cardstock, I like to layer something light on the inside. Boom. Put that aside. Wait, I have one more section here. The last panel, okay, so this one goes on the top. The last panel I'm going to do the box on. So that's going to be three and five eighths. That's square. Three and five eighths by three and five eighths. Okay, so one sheet of basic uh, gray cardstock pretty much covers everything. I'm going to put this aside and I will bring it back out shortly. Either that or the Simply Score tool. I haven't decided yet. Let's see. All right, that's it. Final vinyl volts tallied. Oh boy, this is tough. I'm going to have to go any mini miny mo, you guys. <laughs> it is pretty even. Rocky, the Rococo Rose and Highland Heather uh, loves are pretty even here. So I'll show them both to you. They're so pretty. This mercury glass is so pretty. So I've, I've pre cut them. But we've got a box cut here and for the card here. This is the Highland Heather. And this is the Rococo, Rococo Rose. Oh, money, mo. get your tiger by the toe. If it hollers, let it go. Eeny, meeny, money, mo. That's it. Rococo Rose it is. <laughs> that was tough. That was tough. All right. So and stay tuned. I'm going to show you these, uh, more of these butterflies, more butterfly ideas and, um, the products that come in that butterfly bundle. Um, at the at the end of this video and also and I'll show this to you right now I'll tease you with this right now this is uh, my brand new uh, butterfly butterfly brilliance kit if you love what you're seeing today if you love the extra bonus tutorial cards that I'm going to share with you today in the box that I'm going to show after I have another box to show you um, you are absolutely going to love the kit that I have created. It includes the entire collection of the Br Butterfly Brilliance and a blending brush technique class. Pretty awesome. Go to stampwithtammy.com or click on the resource page to find out more. Back down to the table. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do here is let's start with our card. So I've got our card. Um, this panel here is the... Oops. The, the front of the card here. The first thing I'm going to do is cut out butterflies. And we have lots of beautiful butterflies in this. Oh, Denise, that is a fantastic idea. Absolutely awesome. I love you, Denise, and I think that's what we're going to do. Thanks for that. That totally broke the tiebreaker right there. She says you could make <laughs> you could make the card in one and the box in the other. Let's do that. Love it. Absolutely love it. We'll do card and Rococo Rose and the box in Highland Heather. Boom. Problem solved. Okay. So no fighting out there. You, even now we got it all covered. Denise rocks. So this is the die set and the stamp set. And it's really beautiful. So this here is really fun. I play with this in the class. Um, it cuts out all the, all of these butterflies. And it also cuts out um, the butterflies in the designer series paper. I guess I'll go ahead and show that designer series paper. And I was going to save it, but... See, they've got a pattern here of butterflies right on this paper. I have so much to show you at the end. I'll, 
I'll go ahead and sneak this paper now. The paper we're not using in this class, but I do use it in um, the other tutorials. Okay, it is beautiful. So there's 48 sheets in here. One side is patterns. The other side is, look at this one, beautiful. The other side is butterflies. And that die matches um, some of them. They don't match all of them because some of them, this is the flip side. Lots of paper in this pack. It's a big, big pack. Also, since, we, since we're sharing, um, in that collection is also these wood sheets. These are super fun. They're almost like vellum, almost vellum cardstock. They're not, they're not translucent, but they're, they're textured. Like they have a light wood grain texture in them and they are super, super fun. All right. So for our card, we are going to take, let's see, I'm going to take the big butterfly, a medium butterfly and a slightly smaller butterfly. And move those off to the side. And then I'm going to bring out the uh, stamp and cut and die machine. Stamp, cut, and emboss machine. Make sure I say that right. So, I've got a cutting platform on here. I've got the platform that comes with it, the thin die adapter, and one cutting pad. I'm going to take that panel that we cut for the front of the card, and I'm going to line up the butterflies. Let me back up just a hair here. I'm going to line up the butterflies on here so that you can, um, I just want it back out so you can see. And I think that one's too big. I'm going to go with a little bit smaller butterfly there. I want a little bit of space left here. I don't want completely covered in butterflies. And yeah, that's about right. So I got a little C shape going on here. And then we'll take one more cutting pad and cut those out. Oop. Just when I went to put that on the top, this guy jumped. Jumpy butterfly. Cut that out. Now, I'm going to want to save at least this butterfly for um, the box because all we want, all I wanted here was the cutouts, the silhouettes of the cutouts. So we'll take the, the dye brush and we'll clean all that out. And then we'll do the same with these guys. So we have, um, like I said, that's why I had all those butterflies because I made these cards and I cut them out and there's no way I was going to waste all those beautiful butterflies. I'm like, oh, we need lots of projects to play with these butterflies. All right, I'm not done with this. I started to be done with it, but I'm not. Now we're going to take the scripty 3D embossing folder. It's up like a French script. And I'm going to place that panel right inside. And um, on this one, I, I took off the um, thin die adapter plate and the, and the cutting pads. So now there's a special plate for these 3D folders. It comes with, it comes with the cutting machine. It's plate number four. Ta -da. So when we finish, we have that script on there that is just awesome. I'm also going to show you a tip on how to make this, this script pop. In fact, grab a little piece of scrap paper and we can go ahead and do that right now. So for that, and this is just a basic technique with the um, blending brush. So these are the blending brushes. These come in my um, Butterfly Brilliance kit that I just shared with you. Um, these are part of the kit as well as that whole butterfly collection. So it's, it's pretty awesome. I'll share it again at the end, or you can just go to stampwithtammy.com. So I've got basic gray ink here. I've got basic gray cardstock. And again, this is just a basic blending um, technique. I'm just going to take and dip that brush right in there and then just rub it over the top. And what that's going to do is... It's going to highlight the words. Just kind of rubbing it in a circular. And I, it's okay. I want it to look like it's kind of aged a little bit. That mercury glass is going to give it that old fashioned glass look. So I want this to look like it's a little aged. These blending brushes are so awesome. I am in love with them. 
And if you missed my cancer ribbon, rainbow cancer ribbon cards, I played with it there too. That That's awesome there, different colors on that one. Okay, but here I'm just doing basic gray on basic gray because I just want to highlight, just make that pop out just a little bit. And I've got a, like a little sponging on the background there to kind of age it a little bit. You can go as much or as little as you want. And you know what, while I have that out, let's go ahead and stamp our words. Our words come from, I used itty bitty, um, Sue, <laughs> and she means it. She's got like five question marks there. What is mercury glass? Wow. Well, I'm glad you asked that question because I'm going to show you in just a minute. I'm well, sorry you missed our poll earlier um, of what colors to use, but we'll be using both colors. So that solves our dilemma. Uh, itty bitty greetings is a, uh, it's an awesome word set because you've got so many different occasions. You've got Halloween, birthday, Hanukkah is even in here, Father's Day, Mother's Day, you know, you've got graduation, everything's in this one set. So you can make these butterfly cards good for any occasion, just with one word set, just with the changing out the words. So the ones I used, uh, are love forever and always. I was in my mind, I was thinking we're coming up on spring, we're coming up on bridal showers. Um, and that's kind of where I was going with that one. I was thinking these would make good favors for, for bridal showers. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and stamp both tags at the same time. One for the, oops, I did not like what I did there. One for the box and one for the card. I'm going to punch banner tails at the end here. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space. Okay. So. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. This is the um, pick a is it the pick a banner, pick a banner punch. And so it, it, it'll um, punch both a point and a banner tail. And I'm going with banner tail today. So I like to do this up, um, upside down, especially where I've already stamped the words in here. So I'm just going to slide this right in. There's three different sizes. It's got a guide to guide you in. So it's straight. Just kind of watch it here. Make sure it's straight and boom. So you got two different punch styles and one punch. Again, I'm going to take that upside down just so I can see it in the back, slide it through on the guide and we'll just cut that banner tail. So now we've got our two banner tails done. And before I go any further, let's spritz this. Okay, so this is optional, but super fun, and I think I think it makes I love this this part. And I haven't done it in a long time, so happy to revive this. I'm taking uh, my my spritzer and my champagne shimmer mist and some rubbing alcohol. Poured rubbing alcohol in the spritzer. I'm gonna pour a little bit of this um, shimmer paint in there, and we're gonna spritz our project. And Here's another note. I'm going right back to um, the butterfly kit that I have available right now. Um, if you purchase the I Want It All. And the blending brushes. Super cool. Okay, so shake that champagne mist up good. We use this a lot in the holidays too because it makes everything sparkly and fun. So I, I know some people measure this out with a, you know, and one little drop. I don't, I'm just, I just pour in a drop or two right out of here. Cause I don't know, I guess I'm lazy. Pour it right in there. Shake it up really good. Shake it. That just makes me want to sing the cars. right? shake it up. Ooh, ooh, shake it up. Okay. So now we're going to take, and I'm going to do my card base at the same time. Why not? Cause we'll get the edges too. Okay, so now when I spritz that, it's going to take a second to dry, but the alcohol will make it dry quicker. Can you see that sparkle? I can't tell if the light's picking it up or not. I hope it is because it just makes everything shimmer. Now, I just need the edges of this because uh, that's all that's going to show. All right, so those need a second to dry. Ha, ha, ha. While we're uh, waiting for those to dry, let's go ahead and I'm going to, okay, so Sue, was, Sue popped in late and she was asking what's mercury glass. 
it is uh, foil, <laughs> colored foil acetate, like a window sheet with this old, it looks like old fashioned glass, um, you know, like mercury glass is, is a thing. And it's just awesome. It's so cool. It adds such a special touch to, to the project. So let's go ahead and oh, this is still maybe a hair wet, but that's okay. I think, I'm, I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the back of um, this panel using some seal adhesive. Now there's a couple, oops, a little, a little too excited. I guess it wasn't totally dry. <laughs> when it's not dry, it wants to pick up some of the cardstock when you're applying the tape runner. You don't want that. Okay, so I'm just kind of going in just a little bit around where the cutouts are so that it, it's nice and snug when we put it over the mercury glass. So now we're going to create a, like a window sheet, like a window card. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. She said when you put up the butterfly, you couldn't hear me. I wonder why, I wonder why it muted. That's weird. Let me just go back to that for one second. Can you hear me now? <laughs> okay. Where I was going with that is that you get uh, the spritzer and the um, the alcohol, uh, not the alcohol, the spritzer and the uh, champagne shimmer mist that I just shared with you free with this kit. Um, sorry if that, that didn't come through on the first one. But yeah, these kits are available until March 2nd at stampwithsammy.com. Hopefully you could see hear that one. <laughs> All right. So next I'm going to add... Um, another very vanilla panel is the same size as the one on the inside to the front of this. Just using seal here. Is there a right or a wrong side to the mercury glass? I'm glad you asked that question. Actually, um, there is no right or wrong side, but there is a uh, Highland Heather and a silver side. <laughs> So if you want silver, flip it over and use the back. And if you want colored, use this side. So no right or wrong, just uh, options for your colors. Okay, now with the banner, I'm going to also attach that with some... Um... <laughs> I love doing this. Hi, Nancy. She's like, hey, I'm catching the replay, but you're not. You're live. Thanks for joining. <laughs> I love doing that. And I love it when you guys can make it live. I know you can all the time and I know it doesn't, it doesn't always work out, but it's so much more fun when it's interactive. All right. So, um, I just attached that with some, uh, double-sided tapes, seal adhesive, and I'm just going to trim off the excess. So we've got our words on there. The last piece of this one, um, is just attaching this and I did attach it, um, with stamp and dimensional so that it pops up to create that window effect. And oh, so you know, I did not peel this off. Sorry, I had a brand new pack. Did you see that? I had a brand new pack and I did not um, take that off ahead of time. There is a protective backing on the back of that mercury glass. Just so you know, you probably want to take that off before you get started because if I was to attach this, you, it might peel off. Okay, so I've got some stamp and dimensionals here. I hope I answered that question for you. The question was, does it have the clear film on it and should that be removed? It has the clear film on it and it should be removed. Just like it would on any product that you buy that's just there to keep it from scratching. You know, a lot of products that have, um, you know, like a, a delicate piece like that a lot of times have that clear protective film on the top. I know our trimmers do. <laughs> and I know I had mine on there for a long time before I realized it was even there. Okay, so dimensionals on the back. And so it pops up. So it's like a almost like a window card. And there we go. So we've got our mercury glass butterflies. Aren't they pretty? We've got a little shimmer on there from the shimmer mist. And we've got our uh, insert in there so we can write on it. And now it's time to continue with the box and you know while I'm there let me just make sure this one doesn't have the protect it does have the protective backing on it I, I would probably have peeled that off the entire 12 by 12 sheet ahead of time if I was um if I was really good and paying attention but I wasn't
Oh, it does not want to come off on this one. I think I'm just rolling with it because it's on there good. All right, fine. Doesn't want to come off. It's staying on there for good. For the box. Let's go ahead and I'm going to take the paper trimmer. You could use your Simply Scored tool for this as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the, the um, either one of these scores. So I'll go ahead and do the, um, the scoring, but I'm going to do this upside down too. Okay, so I have got, um, this is a four by four, right? Six by six, sorry, six by six. Again, the measurements are on that free PDF. You don't have to write all this down. It's a six by six uh, piece of um, mercury glass acetate. And I've got my trimmer here that I'm using the scoring blade on. So again, Simply Score tool will work here. Let's see if that protective black backing pops up when I do this. Okay, so I am gonna score at two inches on either side. And because it's on there, I'm gonna make sure I'm pressing down really good. Get a good, nice score line on there. So we're going to do all four sides of that. Okay. So from here, I'm going to take a bone folder and really reinforce those lines. Find one. Because um, it's thick. The acetate is like a win our window sheets, and they are thick, so it's hard to really get a, a score. Let's see. And I want to make sure that it's... Yeah. Got a good score line on it. So just burnish um, all those lines across. That's a good tip. Jennifer says a piece of tape will help that protective back end come off. Mine's just going to become part of the box today. Because really, I think you guys want, want more to see how to make the box, right, than to see me struggling with the, the protective backing because that part is just so not important. Okay, so now I'm going to cut tabs. So I'm going to cut up opposite ends here right up to that score line. So six by six, I've scored it at two inches all the way around. And then I'm going to cut about an inch and a half off so that I've got maybe just a half of an inch left here for my tabs. If you, if you didn't do that part, you could still make the box, but it would be really hard to see through the mercury glass design, the printed design on there. Our uh, box looks like this. And um, so you don't have to take notes again on this one. When you download the um, free PDF, I have this. I share it here with the measurements and um, how I cut it. So you can download this um, on the, the resource page. There is a link in the video's description or you can go to stampwithtammy.com. And um, if you are watching this much later and that is no longer in the recent posts and you don't see a picture for it, either click on the videos tab because there's hundreds and hundreds there or just type in mercury glass in the search box and it will bring you to this class. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna switch over to some Seal Plus adhesive or tear tape because I don't see any Seal Plus handy. I guess tear tape it is. Whatever you use on this step, it um, the seal adhesive is not strong enough. It's got to be stronger. So either the seal plus or this tear tape works. And then just peel off the protective backing on that. One beautiful thing about the seal plus is. <laughs> there's no, you know, you just roll it out and just like this, the, uh, double-sided tape, you just roll it out. You don't have to peel off the backing, which when you're live is always a challenge. Okay. 
And I do have that on the front side. I did not put the adhesive on the back side. It's on the front side. Oh, it's killing me. Okay, there, got it all. Again, seal plus would have been much quicker. Okay, so for here, I'm just going to um, see these tabs. We're just gonna go ahead and fold it up and attach them like so. And we've got our box base, that's it. That's all there is to this little box base. It was super easy, right? So that's the base and look at it. it's fun on the inside and the outside, right? It's got the, the silver on the inside. Take your pick tool, thanks. You guys are all, <laughs> I need you guys here with me. <laughs> it's just saying, take your, take your pick tool to get the backing off. Okay. So now I've got the lid. So remember we cut this piece in the, in the first step for the lid and we are going to score this one at, um, I lost my scores. Good thing I, good thing I had my PDF printed off here. We'll just refer back to that. We're going to score that at three quarters of an inch on all four sides. So just bring that through to three quarters of an inch. We want the lighter of the two blades as the scoring blade, or you can use your Simply Score tool here. And uh, this is cardstock, so it's much easier. All right. Uh, much easier to reinforce those right than the other one. Okay, so I'm gonna cut up here and then we're gonna, I wanna, I wanted to put the, um, I mean, you could leave it blank, but I wanted to keep the uh, script, the scripty um, embossing texture on it so that it matched the card. So I'm just gonna cut those same four tabs in the side and then we'll do that embossing folder on it. I suppose you could do the embossing folder on the first step, but I didn't want it to get squashed when I started. Um, doing the, the folds and let's just see where I put that little thing down. Maybe we won't be putting scripty on. <laughs> I have no idea on the table where I left it. Oh, there it is. Okay. So just in case you popped in late, here we go. We're using uh, the scripty 3d, um, 3d folder for texture. It doesn't really matter what way it goes in, just as long as your square is straight, because you can just turn it however you want it for the words to be right side up. So same sandwich we did in the uh, in the card. There we go, and. go ahead and just leave this blank I'm thinking you know we can we can go ahead and throw some ink on it with a blending brush if we want but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it blank uh if I spritz this it's gonna take a minute to dry but that's okay actually we have one more step to do so it'll have time to dry so let's go ahead and spritz that with some of our uh, shimmer mist that we made you can if you're popping in late you can go back and check out how I made that so it gives it a little sparkle it's gonna take a minute to dry and then we're gonna take some of those butterflies so I'm taking two actually, I, I, again, I had, I had made a bunch of these, so I have two. I cut one out already and I cut a second one out for this particular project. Now I thought the gray on the gray, it doesn't pop as much. It doesn't show as much. So I wanted to do something that makes it, makes it pop out even more so that you can really, you know, really see that butterfly on there. So I took a darker ink, Blackberry Bliss. And now I'm just switching over to the sponge powder. And we're just gonna ink that up 
and just brush that color right on the butterflies. And when I do that, can you guys see that? Okay, sorry. I'm going to try not to, uh, I'm a lefty, so I'm going to try not to reach over the project so that you guys can see it. But it adds, I'll leave it right just like that so you can see half and half. It just adds like a little bit of color to it that makes it pop right off the box when you put it on there. And I did this on both colors, either one. I, I used the, the Blackberry Bliss on both the Rococo Rose and the Highland Heather uh, Mercury Glass boxes. You can make that as dark as you want. You can even go ombre if you wanted to. Do a little bit of lighter on the bottom, a little bit of darker on the top. I suppose if you wanted to, you probably didn't even have to do the second butterfly. You could use that as your bottom layer, but I'm going to do them both because the way that I'm going to layer them, you can see the the wings at least of the bottom one. Okay. Now I'm going to take some paper snips and snip off the antenna of this one of them, the bottom, the one I'm going to put on the bottom. Uh, if you have mini glue dots handy, this this is good for mini glue dots. I'm going to take some seal adhesive and just on the body part because the body part um, was pretty thick. I'm going to attach those two together and then I'm going to take and I hope I have some mini black dimensionals. Regular ones will work too if you don't have the black dimensionals but the black dimensionals are the bomb because they really don't show. They blend right in with that basic gray. It's a dark color and so I'm going to layer them up two. Two minis one on top of the other like double stuffed Oreos. Debbie says, can you die cut the butterflies out of the mercury glass? I haven't tried that. Um, so you def definitely can the more solid images like this image you, and you would probably want to use this image, like the solid one, if you were going to do mercury glass, because these, these are very detailed. See how we've got a lot of space here. So you would lose a lot of that. Um, the interest of the mercury glass when you cut it. Um, from the detailed die. Okay, so I've got two spaces, two places where I put the minis, doubled them up, and I'm going to do that on both sides. That makes it, see it? I mean, if you look to the side, you can see the dimensional, but when you're looking on top, you can't, but you can see the two wings like he's flying. It's got a little fluttering going on there. <laughs> can you tell that I'm hungry like a double stuffed Oreo? <laughs> I am. I'm hungry. It's almost lunchtime. So we'll double these guys up. Maybe you can see what I'm doing there. Sorry, I didn't have that wing spread back far enough. Okay. There we go. So now we have our our butterfly and it's layered so it looks like it's ready to fly. And we'll come back to our lid, which is still a little wet. Okay, just in the interest of time, I don't know what I did with my um, seal plus, but I'm gonna just use my seal. I would not recommend using seal on yours. I'm only doing this in the interest of time. Either use the tear tape or um, the seal plus for this portion it will definitely hold it better. Okay, so I put it, put adhesive on the tabs just like I did on the other one. I realize it's still a little wet there. Hopefully that won't cause too many problems. And then we just tuck those tabs under on each of them. And our lid is complete. So we have our little lid for our box and then we just need to decorate our lid. First I'm going to attach that um, butterfly to it. Now 
And don't forget, those of you, even if you're popping in late, I got a bunch of things to share with you after with these butterflies. This is not it. And I've got some free tutorials and I'll, I'll tell you where to get them after as soon as uh, I'm done here, which is just going to be in a minute because we're right at the end. All right. So let bring that bone folder back and I'm going to loosen up the fibers on this one because I'm going to make it look a little bit 3D-ish. Like it's fluttering in the wind. Like our butterfly is a, an airplane carrying a banner. You know what? I want to move him a little bit more off the, the top of the box here because I want to make a little bit more space for our banner. And I was thinking favor boxes when I saw, when I made this. I was in my head, I was thinking that they would make really cute um, wedding favor boxes. You could even make baby boxes out of them, change the coloring a little bit. Okay, so this one, I, I, I left it a little bit longer than the original, just so because it, it needed a little bit of blank space underneath the butterfly. See that? And that's about good. Now when I pop this up, it's gonna prop up his wing. So for this part, I'm gonna take some mini, uh, mini glue dots. And we'll put one there and one. Okay, so I've got one on the end and one maybe behind the and sign there. The one on the end is gonna go right up to the butterfly and then the one that I placed there. So see, it's got the banners waving a little bit. It props the butterfly wing up, making it 3D and then the, the wing will stay up like that. So it, it really gives it a cool look. And the very last touch before I share some other butterfly things with you, is the, um, oh goodness, where did I put them on the tip? There we go. <laughs> All right, it's these are uh, pastel pearls and they actually come from the hydrangea, the hydrangea suite, the same one that the, uh, the mercury glass uh, suite is in. This is, these are in the hydrangea suite as well. You can purchase them separately in my online store. So they kind of go together. So I am just gonna add on pearls. Let's see. Boy, everybody is hiding on my table today. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead with the. It's it's a little off white. It's not quite white white. So I'll put a couple of those on the box. Oops! Come back to me, baby. Come back. And our box is complete. And that is our class. But wait, I have more. <laughs> so we've got our, our boxes here in the, um, in the both in the hydrangea and the, I'm sorry, both in the Highland Heather and the Rococo Rose for um, our class. And then our little boxes here to match our butterflies. But wait, I promised there was more and there is. So um, what I'm sharing with you now is the, um, this is the Butterfly Brilliance Collection and it will be available in my online store starting on March 2nd. This is a pre, um, I guess an early release is what they call it, an out of publication early release, um, early release collection. And in it, there's also paper. Um, I shared the paper a little bit earlier on. You can you can backtrack and see that. And this here, the first thing I'm going to share with you um, is a tutorial that I shared on my blog this uh, this past week. So I have linked this in the project page. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see it. I've linked this in the project page so you can um, easily go back and and find that tutorial if you missed it on my blog. Um, so it's free. It's it's a um, how to make these three cards. Really, really cute. They've got the beautiful um, designer series. It's Butterfly Bijou is what it's called um, background on there. So you can um, get that. And then I also spritzed it on if you can see that on the video with the shimmer mist. So you can get that on my blog. And this one, if you are a newsletter sub subscriber of mine, if you subscribe to my um, newsletter, uh, I send one out every Monday with four free card tutorials and every Friday with a bonus tutorial. This will be this Friday's bonus tutorial. It is a mini paper pumpkin treat box and uh, we've got our butterfly. I, I doubled them up there, um, colored. And then I've got, I'll, I'll tell you how I did all this, even the vellum on the background. And then you can, this 
opens up and you've got a nice size. I actually put a gift um, a, a gift card in one of these and even that, I like there's a lot of space in there to give as a gift. So if you are a newsletter subscriber, you will be getting the tutorial for this free on Friday. If you're not, be sure to sign up so you don't miss out on any of my freebies. I definitely want you, be, you guys to be able to get all of these ideas. So uh, this one is what's will, this one will be coming out um, Friday and Friday's newsletter. And the bonus tutorials, you'll be able to get these uh, on my blog. They're on my blog right now, so you can get that free at stampwithtimmy.com. And just click on the resource page. I linked them there to make it easy for you. Here's some more information on the mercury glass that I used. You can get that in my online store, and it's also linked on the resource page. I like to make things really easy for you guys. And last but not least, here is the Butterfly Brilliance card kit that um, I have available, and this is... Uh, until March 2nd, and it's a great deal. I have offered a special deal on the entire Butterfly Brilliance collection that I've shared with you today, and the blending brushes that we use today are part of it. And if you purchase the I Want It All, you'll also get that Champagne Shimmer Mist and Spritzer free. We love free. <laughs> we always love good stuff, right? So uh, another added note, a celebration is ending uh, next week. February 28th is the last day to get free stuff. So if you love the Butterfly Brilliance and really want a good deal, the demo kit is a good deal. During Celebration, you get five free packs of paper in addition to $26 worth of free products and free shipping on it. That's going to end on February 28th, as well as the free products with every $50 in my online store. That's going to end on February 28th. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching me today. I appreciate you coming in and making this such an enjoyable experience and such a fun class. And I appreciate all of your help. It's a, it's definitely a team team effort here. This is an interactive class and I love being able to do these with you guys. Um, and so please be sure to subscribe, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, be, be sure to subscribe to that channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming free classes. All right. Well, thank you for joining me today. Have a great day.